Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be making some heart coasters but I'm going to be showing you how I do this using like a marble effect. I think it's a really cool effect and you can apply it to literally anything that you make with resin. Um, so I'm going to show you that technique and then at the end I can actually, I've got one ready to demold so I'll show you how I make this hot coaster and then we can demold it together straight away and see what they look like. Um, and then I'll show you some of my other marbled effect pieces so you can see what other projects that you can do using this method. I guess other than that, let's get started. So as usual, I'm going to be using craft resin, my favourite resin. Um, there'll be a link down below if you want a discount. And then inside the box you get a part A which is the resin and a part B which is the hardener. This particular resin it's measured by volume so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a couple of cups I'm going to put the same amount of resin in one cup and then in another cup put the same amount of hardener and then combine and mix together nice and easy which is what I love. Um, the colours I'm actually going to be using to mix up is the Craft Resin Silver Mika Powder which I absolutely love. It just comes in a box like this and there's 30 different colours which is great and then to get my marbled effect I'm going to be using white alcohol ink I really recommend using the pinata alcohol ink I've tried using cheaper versions and to be honest it doesn't work as well the pinata white really works well especially when doing this technique and then the final thing you're going to need is some silicone oil mine's a bit <laughs> well used shall we say um, it just looks like this and I'll only be using one drop it's really important that you don't use more than one drop um, but I'll explain all of that later and then this is the mold that I'm using obviously you can apply this technique to anything that you make um, but this is the mold that I'm going to be using for it I just found these ones on Amazon. Okay, so I've just got my resin mixed up and I've set it aside because I like to leave it to sit for like five or ten minutes. This is just so that any air bubbles that there are, they all float to the top. Okay, so I've just mixed up my resin. Um, it took me about five to seven minutes to mix up. I like to make sure that it's definitely fully combined. I've got my mould. I just want to prep it. I'm going to add some silver leaf, which is basically silver flakes and... It just comes in sheets. It looks like this. It's really pretty. Um, it's very delicate though to work with, but I'm gonna just pop it straight in my mold. Um, and I just think it creates like a really nice effect once you pour the resin on top and then when it's set it, and it comes out and it's just like a really nice little added extra, you know? So there we go, that's all ready. I'm just going to pop this out of the way just for a second. I've got a smaller cup here which I'm going to just pour some resin into. This has been sat for probably about 10 minutes now. Um, so it's all good to go. So I'm just going to pour some resin in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my silver. So this is the amount that I'm adding. And I'm just going to give that a good mix into the resin. Okay, so this is what the colour is looking like. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's such a gorgeous colour. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my white alcohol ink. So, just give it a bit of a mix up first. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a generous amount. Not like crazy, but a generous amount to it. You don't want to add too much because if you add too much then... Your resin won't set properly if there's too much. So I just tend to add a few drops. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my silicone oil and I'm just going to add one drop. It's so important you don't add more than that. You could probably get away with have adding two drops if you really wanted to, but I wouldn't add any more than that because it creates this not very nice film on your resin if you add too much silicone oil, kind of like it's burnt and it doesn't look good at all. So a little bit goes such a long way with silicone oil. You can also get another one um, called Cell Creator, I think, but it's just the same thing. So I just got this off Amazon. I'm just gonna add, I added two drops there. And then this is how you create the marble effect. So it's really important that you don't over mix at this stage because if you do, you're just gonna create a lighter gray and that's not what you want. You want that those nice defined lines. So, what I'm going to do is get my wooden stick and I'm going to go round and just lift up the colour into that um, white alcohol ink with the silicone oil. Just giving it a bit of a mix but not fully. I've just gently mixed it up a little bit but not much at all. So now I've got my coaster there. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour straight into the mould. And you can see already that those lines are beautifully defined. And that's it. I'm just going to leave it like that. I've got some left over. So what I'm going to do is I always have moulds to hand when I've got leftover resin just in case. So I've got a little bear here. I'm going to just do the same thing. And then if you noticed, I've just got a little bubble here. I don't like to use the heat gun when doing this method. I'll tell you why. Because it can blend the colours too much and you really don't want that. So what I tend to do is get a little bit of alcohol spray and just give it a little bit of a spritz. Not too much though. This is the one I use. It's from Amazon. And I just give it one spritz and you'll see that the bubbles tend to go. That one's not wanting to shift, so I'm just going to stick a little... There we go. Perfect. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave this for 24 hours and then it'll be ready to demold. Luckily for you, though, you don't have to wait 24 hours because I already have one in that exact same style and technique. I just haven't demolded yet, so let's demold it together. So this is what it looks like. I love how it's turned out. I'm also going to show you some of the other ones I've created before as well using this technique just so you can get it. Sometimes it turns out better than others. Sometimes you get really defined lines, um, sometimes not so much. So this is a body mould that I've made using this technique and as you can see, look at that marbling effect. I just love it so much. I think it's super, super pretty. I've also done a little ring holder, I just think it looks so nice and then this is one of the bears I just love the definition of the lines of the white I think it looks really really nice and then I've got this tray here as well and I just I just love it I love this technique this is a soap dish that I made using this exact technique I just love it I love how it comes out I think it's so pretty and that's it I really hope that you enjoyed this video I really hope that you got something from it and if you do decide to try this technique maybe you've not tried it before please tag me because I would love to see um, if you're watching this on the community group then you can comment on the video or just comment below on YouTube that would be great I'd love to know what you get up to with your resin creations also just another quick reminder there is a discount for craft resin in the links below so make sure you check them out and other than that I will see you in the next video